if you watched the video, which I know some of you did, thank you. Uh, from the last time, I've been using uh, Sherry, Sherry, and I have been just having such a blast with Sky Striker. It literally has been what's been keeping me around on Duel Links. And oh man, and we have the ninth extra deck slot now. Holy. I don't even know what I would put here. All right, I guess before I continue with the opening, maybe I should think about what other monster could go in this slot. Sometimes I do have like level fours. Maybe I can put, um, maybe I can toss in an XC's monster. That would be something sick, right? Yeah. Actually, yeah, let's take this filter off. Let's do, um, in case we do, wow, what am I doing? I need the uh, XC's link. There we go. What would I even do if I had the opportunity? This, this? I got to think about that. I don't have time to do that right now. <laughs> we got to figure out what we would do with the ninth slot in this deck. Maybe there's another monster in the um, the new box. I'm not, I'm not sure. But yeah. Let's take a look at the new box, actually. If there's any Sky Striker stuff. Dude, they're giving us 10 free packs? Free? Majestic Magic. Uh, let's do this. A unification of souls culminating in a limitless ascent. Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. I don't think I've ever seen this card. So a Dark Magician plus a level seven or higher dragon or a warrior monster. So you can... All you need is a Dark Magician and a Gaia? All right. If your monster attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. Oh, that's sweet. So using this monster, you wouldn't even necessarily need to run the um, the continuous spell, the spiral. That's crazy. I like that a lot. Once per turn, when your monster destroys a monster for a battle, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to half to destroy monster's original attack. So, wait a minute. You get the piercing damage, and then you can turn around and hit them for burn? If this card is destroyed, you can special summon both a Dark Magician and Gaia the Dragon Champion from your hand, deck, extra deck, and or graveyard. Oh my god. This is the card that does it right here. If you're not familiar with Gaia, you can check out my channel. I have some, some old videos when like uh, Master Duel first came out messing around with this. this this card did everything flip everybody face down and if they survive they get to draw cards equal to the amount they got flipped face down but i mean you just smack them oh man yeah that's the combo right there we got fallen of albaz in the game that's nuts dogmatica ecclesia the virtuous sky striker ace rose what do you do if Sky Striker Ace Monster or Monster is a normal or special summon except Rose, and outside of the damage set, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if an opponent's monster in the extra monster zone is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of your card effect while this is in the graveyard, you can special summon it. Then you can negate the effects of one face up monster your opponent controls to the end of the turn. Um, hmm. I mean, it does give you utility. I can see this card being um, at one, you know? You can, you, can, you can throw one in there. You definitely want Ray over Rose, but it does give us an extra monster. 
and it has some cool abilities of special summoning itself to the field still so though it it, it doesn't have like protection like ray to hop off we might be able to do something with that oh they put lost wind in here target one face of special summon monster on the field it has its effects negated also its original attack is cut in half if a monster is special summoned from your opponent's extra deck while this is in the graveyard you can set it but banish it when it leaves the field i really like that this is a um i mean this is a sky striker card right here for sure you get these lost wins it'll help out with your um your small monsters that way you can get rid of some of the other tech you have i like this uh recommended cards it says dl oh that it must be the um the monsters the, the half thing because you know dual links always changes the especially with effect damage that's so cool the following cards are reprints give me the video new box added and this is a day after um worlds shout out to all the players at worlds i got to watch all of it um well at least finals day i got to watch all of it it was really awesome all right do a book of eclipse that's all we did. i'm going in here for the gaia and the book of eclipse about the maximum of 20 free packs campaign. The maximum of 20 lets you obtain 10 packs from each applicable box for a total of 20. Oh man, we have to pull from Rush Duel. Can I, why can't I choose? Just let me get 20 packs from Speed Duel. <laughs> the free 10 packs will be drawn with equal probability from among the remaining packs in the applicable box. All right. Before I hop in here and start messing with that, I gotta get warmed up. I got a duel. It's been a while. I'm excited to see you. Glad that you're here. And we are going to do it. Right, let me get some of this. I actually like the, the voice actor here. All right, what are we doing? Everything should be right. Toggle button. Carry the line. All right, cool. I had to make sure. I was like, you... get searching. I don't like any of that. Tell you what, though. We're going to figure out what you're playing. Get milling. Oh, desk bots. <laughs> oh, my other ace is um, my other Ray is in the graveyard. Um, We're definitely setting that. I don't want to waste the All right, so we're going to do Shizuku. I don't want to waste um, Kagari, so I'll hold off because I want to search for the engage. I do need another engage. We got three spells in the graveyard, so we're good. We got to negate. Hey, let me know what you guys think. Like, if we desperately need a client update in dual links and we need high res images um if it's worthwhile i can mod it i can get the card art from master duel and put it in dual links um i shouldn't have to but i mean i can totally do it all right what do these guys do this effect cannot be negated all right what can you do 
You cannot spin your summon except this, but okay. So they don't do anything on their own like that. Dang, he went. That dude, he's a a ten. What are you doing? You can target one spell and try and destroy it. This card gains 500 attack for each in your extra deck. Uh, what do you do? Turn. If you do, it can sack you. So we don't want that. Um. Oh, I hit the right. Are you serious? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I right clicked and it, oh my God. All right, rip the dream. All right, how about you just stop doing that? Okay, stop the bleeding. I can't believe that. I always forget that uh, kind of lets you do that. All right, so we can pop a monster and get rid of that in the uh, backfield. I very much would like to do that. And just pop it though we'll save the cosmic cyclone now nobody comes back how about that <laughs> nah despot 4 is not gonna save you so let's do this we don't we really don't need the cosmic in All right, kind of you helped a lot. You almost got me back to 4,000 life points. I appreciate it. And now it is time to bring out Kagari. So we can grab that engage. Okay, and now. Honestly, let's grab this. We can set, let's set these two. Get out of here. All right, we in there. What is, what is this? What are you doing? You can reveal any number of cards in your hand, shuffle from the deck, and then draw a number of cards. Uh, no. <laughs> no, thank you. You want to draw cards? You want to shuffle? What is he up to? Is it for the one that can, uh, ditch? Yeah, you're not doing that. <laughs> what did you think this was? Okay, now is it just when it attacks or let me see. Um, You had to say once per battle. Sheesh. You saw. Let's just grab it. Well, 
we'll grab a field spell that still gets banished okay i was curious if that still would get <laughs> if it had to hop off the field and uh there we go Uh, what do we need? 18? Yeah! <laughs> and then... Can you guys do anything in the graveyard? No. Just like that. It really is like playing solitaire. That's all it took. And it told me you were lame. <laughs> I do like that somebody was out there in the world of Duel Links is using Despot. It's awesome. Check the deck. No. Uh, give me a second here. I want to. Where's my chat info? Oh, there it is. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let me go to my um studio for a second here. And then I'm going to Grab this link. Do this. And then there's a lot happening on my screen right now. There we go. I'm looking for my um my chat. Oh, there we go. There we, there we, there we go. Cool. All this modern technology. get in another one <laughs> 
such a wasted character. If I, I love five Ds, but if that's the thing, like it dropped the ball so hard with the uh, female characters, Carly, Aki. Come on, Konami. We can do better. Okay, what we got? One, two. All right, I'm gonna have to grab the Ray. We'll do a search and then I will, so I can steal their monster. I'm gonna blow that up. So you just saw me do that. So I could load the graveyard up with three cards. So, well, they didn't need to do it, but if I could negate with the widow anchor and then take the monster, which is really important that combo in particular. All right, what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? I suppose. Yep, then we can draw a card. I'd have to think about how to incorporate Rose into like this mix. But since they didn't do anything, I think it's best if we go ahead and do Kagari. Nothing stopping us from using the engage again. And then, uh, Let's just grab another Widow Anchor. It's not like it really matters. Pull out the Hayate. I don't... Uh, Sky Strikers have more than um, Link 1 monsters. Yeah, I don't need to do anything... We can get rid of one of the field spells. I don't want to keep drawing those. And then we can also activate multi roll and then we can grab our Eagle booster just in case that way we don't we're unaffected and we do not get destroyed by battle. Mausoleum of the Emperor. <laughs> Oh, they, they did it. It, it took everything. After 5,000 years, the door to the netherworld opened again. Asalapisk. Big burb. Dang. You know what would really be cool in the overhaul too is if you summon like those kinds of monsters to the field they just change the um the background of the game that would be awesome uh what was that i see your future and it's not a good one well i see a widow anchor in yours For why would I allow you to swing at me like that? Multi roll. Actually, I would just save it and just use this again. <laughs> That's going to be so messed up. If I draw a certain card, you guarantee the loot. No, Sherry. We already have the card on the field. It's called 
the beautiful widow anchor now we can't swing directly because we negated its effect so i'll just um also they can't use mausoleum anymore either it's kind of funny i mean i could here yeah see you can only swing that way Monster direct attack. All right. You thought I changed back to my old lame self? Wow. Wow. All right. Let's go in here. I've got a couple of things that I need to um, to do, right? Like I, I don't even have um, my duelist past is gone, right? So I think the ninety day fifteen hundred gems, but we get seventeen. You get seventeen of majestic magic and then seventeen of transcendence mirages mirages wow uh i almost kind of don't want to use it like that because we have a new world coming up soon you get a 17 packs rip off the new world uh i'm probably gonna save this one because all of the characters i don't have any characters to uh, max out anymore all series right starting from the top down so if the level is in yellow or gold or whatever they're maxed out so yep this row this row this row this row three rows from scud maxed out yeah so i don't have i don't really have a reason to do times five on my duels because none of the, it doesn't matter for any of my characters. So I'm probably gonna save that. What else is in here? I'll pro I probably will go for these though. Ensemble, Ensemble Robin. Okay. I don't think I remember seeing this one. Yeah, artwork is fire though. Against popular attack for each material attached to it. Dang, y'all all start at zero. If your opponent special summons a monster, you can attach a material, target one of those special monsters, return it to the <laughs> So we just bounce your monster. Alright. If this card is in the possession of sent to graveyard by the opponent's card, you can target another Lyrilus in the graveyard and add it to the hand. Alright. So it's like um It's like Pleiades, right? You just, you, we're going to bounce it. Uh, what do you do? I don't think I've ever seen this card. It looks so awesome. This card lets you roll a die and shuffle a number of wind monsters up to the result from your graveyard into the deck and then destroy your opponent's cards up to the number shuffled. Yo, that's busted. A wind tuner and a one non tuner wind synchro monster. A level 11. Holy sh. All right. Additionally, if it was synchro summoned, it can be retributed during your opponent's main phase to special summon up to two level 7 wind synchro monsters with different names from your extra deck. Use this effect special summon clear wing synchro dragon and wind witch winter bell. Dang, man. So you can cheat out. Up to two level seven wind synchro monsters. So you can just cheat stuff out. Hold up. That's broken. Now, the translation, is it just level seven or is it level seven or higher? All right, we got to. So synchro wind seven. Winter Bell, Clear Wing, 
You can cheat out the junk berserker. You can banish the junk. Well, we don't have a junk though, so that wouldn't uh Dude, this uh Mayakashi Concord Concorda um A Dragoonie? <laughs> Oh, I forgot about uh, Gus King Alexander. You can target one other card you control, return it to the hand. If you do, this card gains 500 attack until the end of this turn. I, I, mean, I guess you really can't use it with much other than Frank Rare's target, face down cards you put on controls, destroy that target. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't use, really use it with anything else that they got going on. It's cool to see, though. <laughs> it's like, wait, what the? All right, what else is in here? Because that's 17 packs and that's 17 packs. So it's 34 packs between these two. So 18, 19. So for almost 2,000 gems, we have 34 packs. Hmm. Hold up. Doing some calculations here. All right. So we got 1900 gems. Uh, so, you know, it's a little more actually. You're, you're doing it just for the pulls because that's roughly 55, let's just call it 55 gems. It's more like if, if we rounded up, it'd be 56 um, per per pack based off of this number when each one's 50 gems, right? Yeah, but each one's 50. So you're kind of getting shafted, at least if I did my numbers right. But you're getting a guaranteed you are to guarantee you ours. If you purchase this, you can get box chip times 100 as a bonus. So you get 15 for this one. So again, it's the same. You take 750 gems and you get 15. So th yeah, this, this one is more even, but you're just doing it to get box chips. Dude, I got a bunch of these I didn't use. Holy. <laughs> I need to play this game. All right. Um, oh, and on top of that, we get free uh, cards. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's just jump into this Cyber Dragon launch. Cyber Dragon activate with near limitless speed. This mechanical dragon is about to shake up rush duels. I mean, is it? Let me see. I mean, that's standard Cyber Dragon, Grand Cerebrus. Excuse me, Grand Cerberus. Uh, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the number of face of Earth attribute machine time monster on your field time 300. Proto. You have three or more light attribute machines in the grave. So summon a Cyber or Proto from your hand and grave yard face of the field. This turn, you can only attack with light attribute machine monsters. Um, Okay. Okay. Still not seeing it. Rightful magic. If you have two or more face up monsters with the same attribute, one on your opponent's field loses 600. Okay, that's nothing. This is a reprint. Um, that's a reprint. Tech Wolf. Worker, warrior, new recruit. Oh, it's an agent. <laughs> Let's go. Return when your opponent adds a card from the grab to their hand. Shuffle one random one. Oh, okay, that's a reprint. Reprint, reprint. 
I mean, unless they come out with something magnificent, I don't like. I mean, I'll take the free deck. Limited time until October 23rd. Purchase limit one. This product is for Rush Duel. Cyber Dragon launch. 30 cards, 500 gems. Oh, I see. It's just like, it's put in here like a weird, very weird way. So you can get all three. Dang, man. Somebody was right. There was, <laughs> Konami was pretty desperate to push Rush Duel, I guess. So, I mean, you can actually get, we've never been able to get three copies of a structure deck with gems. You, it's a typical um, one box, and then the other two you actually have to buy in, right? I had to do that with guy. I had to do that with heroes, like all that. You literally here's the here's the second one. It's a limited time until the, uh, near the end of the month. Excuse me, until the end of October. Then you can use this one, and then you have this one. So you literally spend a thousand gems plus this and you get the whole thing <laughs> oh man that's funny if you have three face up machine type monsters on your field send the top card of your deck to the graveyard oh yeah that card's not doing anything uh crafter drone send one machine from your hands to the graveyard and draw a card i mean that that might not be bad but yeah this this is i mean i'll get it because it's there this is not good. They're just giving you three cyber dragon. I mean, they're giving you a cyber dragon, essentially. That's what this is for. Because the I copy the cards. No, thank you. No, we're not doing that. Uh, what else is going on in here? Because that was a uh, monka. That was Monka. Uh, what was in this? Night Vision, the Phantom Pigeon. Willow, the Wisdom Monarch. Seven's Rose Sorcerer. Yankito, the Security Master. Dang. Um, the Zeus. Imprisoned Beautiful Witch. Dang, she crying. When your opponent normal summons a monster while you have a face of level 8 or higher aqua, choose up to 5 in your opponent's graveyard and shuffle them into the deck. If your opponent has a face of spellcaster, you can choose 5 additional in the graveyard and shuffle them into the deck. We must be getting ready to come into a meta in um, Rush Duel where you could just abuse the shit ton out of the graveyard. I mean, this isn't going to carry over, so I might as well use it on this and at least get this card because this card is cool. Those cards are awesome. Uh, Brick phone near hand. What? All right, let's just grab it. Your rush duel is hilarious. Did I did I get the ultra rare off the rip? Oh no no no! I got the um, wisdom monarch. Okay. A now rich dinosaur who had changed names in exchange for luck. He used to live in a hole. <laughs> Look at the hair. <laughs> oh, that, that art was cool. Oh, oh. Dang, we pulled it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. And then the new rarity is coming into the game, too. The new rarities. I actually like that they're pulling the new rarity into the game. I, 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 
I'm really hoping that the game truly gets overhauled. I also hope that we get crafting. Oh my God, dude. Duel Links would so be back if, if crafting came. The security guard. A female warrior who occupies a prison island as her primary battling grounds. She scolds with sword and shield in hand. Frequent repeaters have sent positive reviews of their awakening. <laughs> what is this? Excavate the top four cards of your deck. You can choose up to two excavated uh, DMs or DMGs and add them to your hand. Place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. Dang. Turbo Dart Magician? I need to actually... I need to look into that. It's kind of a cool effect. We're not be, we won't be doing that with these gems though. <laughs> All right, the moment you've been waiting for. Let's get in here and grab the free ones. Free. Number 31 embodiment of punishment. I don't ever remember seeing this. Two level ones. Once per turn during either player's turn, you can attach the material from the card, change all monsters your opponent controls to face up attack. Oh, also all monsters your opponent currently controls must attack this card this turn if able. While you control number 13, embodiment of crime. <laughs> what? This card gave these effects. It can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. While it has a material, your opponent takes any battle damage. You would, oh. Dang, that's pretty sick. Dogmatica Nexus. Is it a twin headed dragon? It's a monster card. It can't be normal summoned or set. It must be special summoned by its own effect. You can target four fusion, synchro, exceed, or link monsters in the graveyards. Special summon this card from your hand if you do banish them. At the start of damage step, if this card battles a special summon monster, destroy all your opponent attacking position monsters, then inflict 400 damage to your opponent for each destroyed by this effect. Uh, fusion, synchro, exceeds, and link. Cool. Why, why are we getting Gradle cards? When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can special summon one Gradle monster from your deck in attack position if you control no monsters. Nani? When a greater monster you control declares a direct attack, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, especially something that target to their side of the field. If they control the monsters, you only use it once per turn. Oh, we got Spiral Reborn. Yeah, target uh, level seven or lower dragon in the grave. So summon it. And if you did, if you also summoned a guy, the dragon champion, by this effect, your opponent can't target it with card effects and it can't be destroyed by their card effects. We might find room for one of these. Time Thief Regulator. Okay. I did play Time Thief. Also, you can check that out on the channel. I ran um, a heraldic Time Thief uh, psychic deck. It wasn't the strongest, but it was pretty fun when it popped off. Um, I don't, I'm not sure we have enough in, in Duel Links to make that work. Target up, uh, red arrows. Target up to two face up monsters in the extra monster zone and banish them until the end of phase. We won't be using that card. Nah, it's normal. Change the battle positions of all face up monsters on the field. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Love of my life. Yes. If you fusion summon a level seven, you can also banish monsters from your graveyard as the material. If this card is fusion summoned, you can target one spell or trap in the grave that mentions Gaia the Dragon Champion and add it to your hand. Let's go. I'm so hyped, dude. Let's go. Great old eagle. If this card in your monster zone is destroyed by battle or monster effect and sent to your graveyard, you can target one face of the monster your opponent controls. Equip this card to that target, and then you take control of that monster. <laughs> okay. 
I see Breeze refrain. Target a Wind Witch in the grave and special summon it in defense. When your opponent activates a card or effect in response to your Wind Witch's monster effect activation, negate that opponent's effect. That part of the card is cool. It says you can't stop my card from doing what I want to do. Why do Gradles just look so... <laughs> if it's destroyed by battle or spell effect and sent to the grave, you can target a face-up monster for controls, equip it, and then take control of it. Outstanding. <laughs> Why does it almost look so like lifelike? But you know what the, the outstandings do, the Marins, all that. Uh, you can if this card sends to the graveyard, you can put it on the bottom, uh, or uh, you can uh, add the dog uh, Marin from your deck to your hand. And if you do, place this card on the top of the deck. Bezel ship. Okay. Uh oh. What, what we got? Monster assortment. Reveal one normal monster from your deck and one effect monster from your deck with the same type, attribute, and level. Then your opponent randomly chooses one for you to add to your hand. Also, you shuffle the other one into the deck. Okay. Raging Storm Dragon Beaufort 9? It's a dragon. You can summon it with Breath of Acclamation. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can discard this card. Negate the attack, and if you do negate that monster's effects. Holy crap. Like, permanently? Quick effect. You can target one face of monster upon controls, return both that monster and this card to the hand. I, I, I actually really like that. I like that. <laughs> I don't care about pendulum stuff. They, oh, this is it right here. You must tr also tribute monsters from your hand or field. A levels exactly equal, which will summon any wind monster. Got you. Giga Thunder, Gyclops. That actually looks pretty cool. You can target one pendulum monster you control and one monster your opponent controls, change their battle positions. Well, that's lame. If this card, special summon from the extra deck, is using synchro material, banish it. If this card is normal summon, you can change the battle position. If the battle position of this card is changed, you can target a face up hell trap on the field and destroy it. If this is if this card is destroyed in the pendulum zone, you can return one card from your pendulum zone to the hand. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Greffer up there uh, putting in work only to, to have his own blade coming back to him. Activate when an opponent's monster declares an attack instead of you. Your opponent takes the battle damage you would have taken from this battle. I actually really love that. Like, you can legit just leave the field open. I know that this is a, a, a normal rarity card. <laughs> But I so want to meme with this. This is great. Just let them take the damage for you. That's funny. I actually like the card art too. Ghost Fairy Alphobia. Damn, that artwork is really hard. Once per turn, you can reveal one wind monster in your hand until the end of your opponent's next main phase one. Monsters with a level higher than the revealed monster cannot activate their effects. You can reveal one wind monster in your hand, and until the end of your opponent's next main phase, monster with a higher level. So if you reveal a level one wind monster with this card, it floodgates your opponent's monster effects. <laughs> it skill drains them until they like go into the battle phase or end the turn. That's funny. Hey, Promenade Thrush or Promenade Thrush. They all gain 500 attack for the materials. You can attach a material, target a spell or trap, shuffle into the deck. Dang. At the start of damage step, if another monster you control battles, you can attach any number of materials from the card. That monster you control gains 300 for each the one that's detached. All right.
<laughs> oh man. You always need those generic ones to come in. I mean, we got an SR out of it. We need this thing to ramp up, okay? We are, we're not playing games with this box. We're here to put in work, all right? And that's exactly, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Bam. Okay, the, the bird sanctuary. I see people using at least two or three of these. You can target two wing beasts exceeds monsters you control. Attach one of those monsters to the other as a material. Transfer some materials to that monster. <laughs> I love how they had to break that down. Come on, Konami, just explain it better. If you control an XT's monster with three or more materials, you can draw a card. Cool. Hey! Time for Thief Winder. We got another BAM! Hypno Sister. Time Thief Hack. Let's go! Book of Eclipse number one. Uh, a kaiju. All right, I think we already have that. Fallen of Albaz. All right. Oh, that had animation too. Wait a minute. I'm clicking buttons. Magic Spectre Tornado. Tribute one wind spell cast type monster, then target one monster upon controls and then banish it. Oh, that's cool. I mean, because you're doing the tribute aspect of it, so you're not having to discard a card. You can just use a monster on your field. I respect it. What is happening? Glass Bell! Let's go! All right. <laughs> We're getting all kind of bams. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. A blizzard bell? Do Ecclesia, <laughs> let's go. Dogmatica Nation. Another player can target Dogmatica monsters you control with effects of monsters that were special summoned from the extra deck. After damage calc, if your Dogmatica monster are battled, destroy that opponent's monster. If this face of a card in the field zone is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can have each player send one monster from the extra deck to the graveyard. All right. You pay for what you've done. If you control a Lyraless monster, negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of the turn. Dang. So we're just going to Dark Ruler no more these suckers because you just control a Lyraless? That's broken. Nekomata. Dude, <laughs> what's Konami? This card literally is a pendulum that has no pendulum text. <laughs> when this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Magic Spectre from the deck to your hand during the end phase. Oh, I remember that. They always do that weird thing toward the end phase. I may have to mess with some Magic Spectres. The attack of all monsters your opponent currently controls becomes that monster's current attack. So if you wait, say you survive a turn, your opponent has like four monsters of 3000 attack. Let's say we're looking at, um, uh, what's his name with his, um, fluffles and stuff like that. Okay. We're looking at those monsters. They're all boosted. You target, you, you summon a uh, zero attack Lyraless, they all become zero. Also, their ranks and the levels become one. When an opponent's monster declares an attack on their monster, you can banish the card from the grave. Your monster's attack becomes that opponent's monster's attack until the end turn. I know these are normal, but that's really funny. Okay, we got the second one. Also, like, oh, we got a, a rat. You can return one face up wind monster you control to the bottom of the main deck to target up to two cards in your opponent's graveyard and banish those targets. That's actually, I think that will get a lot of utility. I actually really like the uh, ceiling ceremony cards. This one's nice. 
I remember using this in Master Duel, like as like a, a side deck card. But yeah, you just put your stuff back in your deck, search it later, and then you still banish two from the grave. Yeah. Oh, I didn't read that. That's my bad. Okay, we did get the box chips. Uh, who who was that? The frog, Ogama. You also do all magic specters just don't have text. Did I just not? Did that just not occur to me? Yeah, they all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when this card is normal spell summon, you can set one magic specter spell or trap directly from your deck, but you cannot activate it this turn. Can't be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Okay. We use that one. And let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get this. I feel like we should get the burb hearst. That's almost a thousand. Oh, a, a Sky Striker card. Yada. Uh, let's see. You can add one from your deck to your hand. You, you can only use this effect once per turn. It cannot be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. They're all weak is like the problem. Chrono Quarter. Turquoise Warbler. All right. Wagtail. Celestine. We got another Blizzard Bell. Okay, there we go. Artillery Catapult Turtle. You can tribute one monster, which you would tribute the Catapult Turtle. Uh, yeah. You can do some other things with it if you steal an opponent's monster, but you always will just be trying to use this on the Catapult Turtle. Uh, with that, you special summon a Gaia, the Fierce Knight monster, or a dragon from the hand or deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. So, I mean, it can get hit up. It can get negated. You, you can't get wrecked with this because this essentially will take up like your normal summon. But if you can get this on the board with a special summon, uh, it becomes great utility for Gaia. Great to have it already. Spiritual Whisper. This is awesome. That's a beautiful card. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. When this card is Pendulum Summon, you can add one Ritual Monster or Ritual Spirit card from the deck to your hand. Cool. Dang, another awesome card art. Uh, target one Time Thief exceeds your control. Attach one Time Thief card from your hand or deck to it as a material. I remember this card. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Time Thief. Exceeds monster you control. Attach one card from your opponent's graveyard to it as material. Yeah, this card actually has a lot of utility. It's, it's weird that it's like a normal. <laughs> I forgot. Overworked. Destroy each monster whose attack is higher than its original attack. Your boost, my boost. There's retrograde. There's your counter trap. It's actually powerful. It's kind of weird that it's uh, just normal rarity, but whatever. There we go. Uh, you can only use the effects of Dogmatica Aiden the Enlightened once per turn. If a monster special summon from the extra deck is on the field, let's come this card from your hand. If this card on field destroyed by battle card fate, you can summon a Dogmatica monster from your deck, except Aiden. Oh! Be still my my beating heart. Oh! The most beautiful card in the game, Spiral Fusion. Fusion summon one Dragon Fusion monster from your extra deck. Using... Monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If you special summon Gaia Dragon Champion, it gains 2600 attack. 
Also, it can make up two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. That is, I can't wait to show you all the combo. Oh my god. Spiral fusion here, and it is I it is it top tier in my hands. Barrel Canary. Alright, let's go. Dude, the fact that it's a rare card, that's so that's that's silly. Alright, let's go in and get another 950. The fact that it's a rare is silly. <laughs> Gradle Cobra. Uh, destroyed by Battle Trap. Okay. I didn't realize Gradle had so many uh, monsters in it. Send one monster you control to the graveyard. Special summon from your deck or one pendulum monster with the same level. We'll destroy it during the end phase. Interesting. It's just another way to cheat out your stuff. I right? got another winder. Super cell. While you have a Magic Spectre card in your pendulum zone, the activation and effects of other Magic Spectre cards activated on your side of the field can't be negated. Once per turn, you can target five. Magic Spectre cards in your graveyard, shuffle all five into the deck, and then draw a card. Oh, we have a Wind Charmer. You can target one Wind Monster in your opponent's grave, special so summon it to your zone that this card points to. And then you can search after. Okay. Another catapult turtle. I need to read whatever that Gaia card is. Oh, this, these packs are being rude, man. I'm not getting anything. Okay, I was like, dang, I went through quite a few packs, man. All right, bird call. Take one Lyrilus monster from your deck. Then either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard, and you can special summon one Lyrilus monster with a different name from your hand. Cool. We do have the Rider also. What was that? I think it was a trap card. Spiral Discharge. I don't remember seeing this. While Gaia the Dragon Champion is in your monster zone, your opponent's monsters can only target Gaia the Dragon Champion for attacks. When an, oh, I remember, I remember this card. When an attack is declared involving, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. So you can pop a card if you have it up there. Um, We'll see. Because you can already pop a card on your own. We'll see. Majestic Magic, 17 packs. Then we get the Hyperion. Majestic Magic is what we're pulling from right now, right? Yeah. So I can keep pulling on this and get other cards that I'm missing. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. Um, These are really old. I don't have anything down here, though. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else can I yoink? Okay, what is, what's this monster? Wolf yet. I know it's wind. It's a level nine. Gain Stream Attack each time another monster's effect is activated while the attack of this card is less than 4,000. Interesting. Um, this Trap Tricks. 
I don't know if I would really play with that. Um, I'm so surprised I don't have Master Flare Hyperion, so... Let's just grab this. I didn't realize I even had all this. Okay, second Spiral Fusion. We got a... Yes, second Book of Eclipse. Let's go. Third Spiral Fusion. Ooh. Hey, Sky Striker Ace of Rose. Let's get it. And I only need one of those. Oh, uh, by the way, like for what what it currently is in Duel Links. I see you, Time Thief Jester. It'll be okay. Dogmatica Theo, the Iron Punch. Mm, what do you do? Uh, you can target one face monster on the field. I'll some extra deck to this turn. It gets an attack, and if it does, it, the opponent loses. Okay. All right, we finally got a Hyperion. We got two Eclipse. Time Thief Startup. All right, uh, uh, where's the card that I was... There's a Jester. We already know what this does, too. I've played with all these cards already. Um... We need to find... Whatever... Hold on, I'll find it. Give me a sec here. Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. Scissors cross. If you control the monsters, blah, blah. Target one level four Sky Striker Ace Monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. Or if you have three or more spells in your graveyard, you can spell something instead. Th that's okay. They have this as a normal, but I'm telling you the amount of times that I I ran Sky Striker deck with two Ray, and then they get milled in the graveyard or something like that. It's all over, okay? But not with Scissors Cross. That's actually a, that's actually a great addition to the to the deck for it. Okay, I already ran out of Book of Eclipse. I don't even have my Curse of Dragon, and I need three copies of that. So we need to keep going. <laughs> I want I want my dragon. All right, I can actually keep pulling too. So No, cuz we're actually getting way more, right? If we go you get 10 packs for 500. 20 packs for 2,000. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, because they're, um... We don't want no mats and no sleeves, okay? What else can we get? Uh, I mean... This will get us 17. And we'll get this card because we might be able to use that. Dogmatica Encounter. Okay, second canary. Boy, they are not trying to give me any another Fallen of All Buzz. Another turtle. Ah, there we go. Ice Bill. Yes. Okay. Uh, 
Um, what was the encounter? Um, supposed to summon a dogmatic monster or fallen of Albaz from your hand, or add to your hand. Supposed to summon a dogmatic or fallen from your graveyard. So we have two of them, dude. That card art is ridiculously amazing. They didn't give us any fusions, though, did they? I don't. I don't remember them doing that. We have almost run through this box. I have no Gaia. I'm a little sad. Uh, we're at 87 packs. Madge. This is usually how my pack openings go, by the way. <laughs> what else can we open? I don't want to go in like those are. These will be rush boxes, right? Yeah, we're not doing that. Are there any other? Yeah, there's this one. We can pull this one. Alright, cool. We got the one. Let's go. So this would be for the Dark Magician variant. I have to um I have to play around with that. I legit didn't know that was a card. We pretty much seen it all now. Oh, Floridalis, the knighted. Let's go. Awesome. We finally got it. You can make all dogmatic monsters. You currently control the game 500. You're going to use the effect once per turn. That's awesome. Please be my dragon. Oh no. Titanic clad, the Ash Dragon? Oh, okay, it's our fusion. Gains tag equal to the combined original levels of the monsters used for its fusion. Summon times a hundred. After this card's fusion summon for the rest of this turn, it's unaffected by the activated effects of any other monster special summon from the extra deck. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent at its turn, you can add to your hand or special summon a demonic monster or a falling mavis from your deck. Cool. I was wondering if we actually had, um, I was wondering if we actually had one of his fusions. So it's good to know that we actually do. It's good to know that we actually do. Okay. We have pretty much everything. Oh, there's a Moonlight Dragon in here. I do want another one of these. We, dude, we have three of you are left. And they're all cards that I would like to have. All right, let's go ahead and hit up 10. We got another one of the dragons, so that's cool. We have all the fusion stuff that we want. I just need the URs now. And it would be the case that because it knows that I'm a Gaia player, it will not give me the dragon. Shoot. I don't care about Perpetua. <laughs> Get out of my face, girl. They gave me Dogmatica Punishment before they gave me Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, I'm an all best player. Let's go. Sheesh. 
Target one phase of monster opponent controls. Send one monster with an equal or higher attack from your extra deck to the graveyard. And if you do destroy that monster. Until the end of your next turn, after this card resolves, you can't spell some monster from the extra deck. Oh my god. <laughs> we did not get all the cards yet, so I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna tease what I would do with that. Um Let me think here because I can still use Book of Eclipse to my advantage. Uh, if I took out, just just go with it. If I if I took out my cheese cards, right, and I put in Book of Eclipse. <laughs> Oh, they only let you play Dimension Wall at one? Oh, no. They they knew. <laughs> they knew. <laughs> uh, where's, um, where's Eclipse? You already have cards at three, huh? Dang, they only let me do one. I can only do one of these. I actually like my card, my deck being at 22. Let me exit without saving. Since I know that I can only get one in the deck, it's a nice disruption. That's funny. Um, if you take out the two, leave that in yeah i suppose that's that's something we could do here this card comes in handy but i mean you can just do you this you can do that you can add one in because you can't do anything else and then find the rows that we got uh there we go honestly if you have these you don't you don't need maybe two of that and one rose I think that, and then let's go back and then let's get our, uh, our. Okay. And don't even worry about the extra deck. We. We're not going to do anything with it right now. And I will spend, hold up. We got new skills. Oh, I didn't know I had two of you. You got it all now. The fact that this is in the game, right? Like we spiral leading to the dragon champion. You cannot normal or special summon any monster except for spell caster and warrior monsters and aqua. But yeah, I mean, this it's you can actually get pretty creative messing around with it. But I, I see what they're doing in this game. So during your main play, during your main phase, play one artillery catapult turtle from your hand or deck to your field. Oh, you can just play it, dude. Okay, this skill is busted. All right, that's it. <laughs> you can't, you don't waste a normal summon. So because they let you play using this skill, if your opponent goes in and tries to negate the artillery catapult turtle and you have that and you have the field spell still, and then you can still go with your normal summon, use the field spell to add curse of dragon and then still make your play with the uh, spiral. Dang, that's that's messed up. If your opponent controls more cards than you do, add a polymerization from outside of your deck to your hand and play one dark magician from outside of your deck and face down defense. Holy crap. So you literally can play that on turn two. <laughs> that's so stupid. All right, I want to give this to the Dissaud. 
Also, I look. Konami takes a lot of L's when I'm talking about their 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 behavior, but this is amazing. The, the fact that they finally gave all this other stuff some kind of use. Look at this. All right, I have 25 million uh, gold and can't do anything with it. And finally, they gave us something where we can exchange the skills. I'm all about that. That's awesome. So this is how you get, you can use this skill second effect once per turn and twice per duel. Reveal a time thief psychic monster or a time thief start from your hand and then add time thief machine monster or start from your deck to your hand. If your opponent controls no cards, you can shuffle one card from your hand to the deck. Add a time thief redoer. I like it. I mean, yeah. Because redoer isn't in the box, right? So absolutely all right so bright adjuster cybernetic uh choose one face up monster on your field it gets 500 attacks to the end for you so cool i mean let's let's just get this why not I'm so bad that I don't even have one Curse of the Dragon. It so hurts. <laughs> they made it a UR, but rightfully so. Like that is that is the deck. All right. Well, let me decide um, about how to go in on the rest of the box. And um, it's time for me to eat. So I will do that. And I will make the best guy a deck that your eyes have ever be held but that's going to be it for this one um and then i'll get in some gameplay uh, thank you for uh coming through hanging out with me and i will catch you in the next stream until next time be the meta peace